He looked weird. Oh, yeah. You see, you see the little corner? Yeah. How I give. Fantastic. I love it. Like, essentially, facial balancing. So I already have like a, a very good face. So she has very like feminine features. At this point, you're just enhancing. Like we're just making it like extra perfect. So we're gonna be doing the cheeks, the chin, and the nose. So her lips are already like really pretty. I told her she doesn't need to do any more. I'm just gonna bring out the chin a couple millimeters. Give the illusion that the tip of the nose is a little bit raised, so it has more of like a, a swoop to it. And then um, I'm just gonna heighten the OG curve a little bit more, so she just looks a little bit more contoured. It does a good job of giving you like that 3D contoured, like a perfect selfie. That OG curve is this cheek when you're looking at yourself from a 45 degree, and it's just it signifies youth, beauty, fertility. And as you age, that OG curve starts to kind of drop down. So adding a little bit of filler does a really good job at supplementing that volume loss. In this case, we're not dealing with volume loss. I'm just enhancing the OG curve a little bit more. So I, I always say this to everyone. Whenever you start to inject filler on top of filler, um, you don't get the same definition. You know, sometimes, okay? In her case, uh, the last thing she did was PDO thread, so it's perfectly fine. I'm just uh, going to, she only, you, know, you said you only did filler. Uh, thread, right, mommy? Yeah. Yeah, so pretty much I'm just gonna just enhance a little bit, raise the tip a little bit, and then just soften this area here called the radix, because she says that from the front, she has like, um, her bone sticks out a little bit and she doesn't like that, so filler does a great job at concealing that. So threads do one thing and filler does another, because I think that's another question people are like, oh, what makes you choose? It's just depending what I want to do. So threads do a really good job at lifting. I don't really, per se, want to lift this angle up any further because it's very feminine, it's very obtuse, right? So I think it just depends on what your aesthetic goals is. So some people do it like, for enhancement, which is what we're doing here. Some people do it for rejuvenation or they're just trying to maintain like their appearance. So I feel like that's a very like, individual dependent question because everyone has like different goals. You know, some people want to look very natural. I have some women that come in and they're like, I want to look as perfect as possible. I don't mind, you know, looking a little more artificial. It just depends what your perception of beauty is, right? Cheeks in the chin, you want to be right on the bone. So the first layer, the, the outer, the outermost layer, the bone is called the periosteum. So that's usually where you want to inject because that's where it's a safer area. It's usually generally safer as far as like vessel arrangements are not usually typically on the bone. Of course, there's always a anomaly or there's always like one person might, but it's, it's rare on the bone in these areas. So it's just the same thing.